Hey, what's up, yo? It's Alvi again, and tonight we're gonna talk about value-added tax on importation. So, you know what, guys? I'm so excited for this module one because you know why? Are you excited? Amo niya pinaka malipot natin yung discussion. Okay, this is the I think um, we will just discuss yung mga important things lang because module nine, okay, VAT on importation is just parang Um, redundant lang siya dun sa mga diniscuss natin before and um, I'm so excited kahit ano siya uh, very short lang siya na discussion it's more on theory what's important is you know how to compute okay the VAT on importation okay so let's jump in no more intro okay so let's go guys okay Okay. Ano ba yung importation? Okay. Importation sa madaling salita, no? We just uh, import, okay? Import ng, ng goods or services by Philippine residents from non-resident seller. Okay? From Philippine residents, okay? Mga Pinoy. From non-resident uh, sellers, okay? Types of com- consumption tax on importation. Ano ba yung mga consumption tax natin dito. But on importation for import of goods and final withholding but for uh, purchase of services, okay? Pag goods nga but on importation or VAT, okay? Diretso siya. Final withholding but for services naman. Yun lang yung distinction niya, okay? So meron tayo dito ng table, you know what? Comparison doon sa VAT on importation and yung final withholding VAT. Ano yung kinaiba niya? Okay? Other one, uh, goods, services yung kabila, um, importers or buyers yung nag-impose, okay? Ini-impose itong tax na to doon sa importers and buyers, okay? Foreign service provider, yan, pag final withholding VAT naman siya. Statutory taxpayer, yan, same lang, and resident, Purchaser of service. So, naka-asteris siya. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng asteris? Okay. Ito sa baba may nakalagay. Individuals engage in business and corporation. Okay. Nature. Of course, direct consumption tax. Yung isa naman, final without being bad. That's indirect. Okay. Yung tax base naman, magkaiba din. Landed cost and contract price. Okay, yung collecting agency, yung nagbabayad dun ka sa Bureau of Customs. Minsan naman, final, final withholding VAT, dun ka magbabayad sa BIR. Okay, kailangan lang natin tandaan guys, ito yung, itong table na to. Okay, we need to distinct ano ba yung uh, final withholding VAT, ano ba yung VAT on importation. Okay. The VAT on importation is payable, ayan, sa Bureau of Customs and is paid prior prior syempre paano uh, prior bago makuha yung uh, goods dun sa customs warehouse yung final withholding VAT naman okay na 12% ng contract price for services rendered it is limited to the DIR okay so ito guys actually highlight ko no na discuss na natin to di ba parang it's part ng sale of goods, sale of services, ito naman, parang importation. Nag-import ka ng goods. Yung kinaiba lang dito, magiging final withholding yung, yung nasa taas, di ba? Okay? Magiging final withholding VAT yung tawag dun sa uh, services na in-import natin. Kasi from non-resident uh, citizen siya. Okay? Yan lang yung pinaka-unit dito, guys. Okay, na-discuss na natin ito, so agricultural product, importante nga dyan, di ba? It's the same thing, livestock, poultry, tsaka yung sinasabi natin, di ba? Original state. So, na-discuss na natin ito sa previous na natin. It's just a review, okay? Parang review lang to ng uh, previous na natin. And, ito lang, just want to highlight lang, no? Packaging is not processing as it does not alter the nature of the products it merely involves putting the product in a medium that makes makes it convenient for handling storage or marketing 
So original state pa rin siya like uh, ito nga mga vacuum uh, packing, tetra packing, ganun. So it's the same concept na din discuss natin before. Yung nagkaiba lang ng link dito yung importation na term natin. Okay? Pero it's the same principle. Okay? Importation of farm or fishery. Ayan. So same pa din. Exam. Ayan. Mga bat exam. You just need to highlight these things, no? Just to parang review lang siya. Okay? Okay. Uh, scroll, scroll lang tayo daw. Sobrang bilis lang tayo. Kasi uh, like yung books, number 3 na to. Tapos na to eh. May discuss na natin, di ba? We will go doon sa computation para mas mabilis tayo. Okay? Passengers or cargo and aircrafts, including engine, equipment, and same thing. Same, same thing pa din siya. Okay? Ayan. This incentive for VAT exemption is granted by law in an effort to help. Ayan. Modernization of the shipping and transport. Siyempre, gusto ma-entice. Okay? Gusto ma- matulungan ng government natin yung pag-import, moder modernization ng shipping, transport, and tourism industry. Siyempre, magbibigay ng, ng VAT exemption o mga tax incentives yung tawag, di ba? Para mas ma-entice pa yung mga, ano natin, mga entrepreneur. Yan. So, meron din tayo tinatawag na importation by VAT exempt person. So, yung nag-import, but exempt sila na person. Okay? But exempt persons are not subject to but on importation. Okay? Yung extent lang ng exemption nila, nagpapari rin siya, syempre. Depende dun sa exempt person. Okay? Sige, tingnan natin. When, a, when an exempt importer subsequently sells his exempt importation to non-exempt person, the non-exempt buyer shall be subject to VAT on importation. So, yung bumili, siya yung maging subject sa VAT on importation. The tax due on such importation shall constitute a lien or a charge on the goods of goods superior to all charges or liens, okay, irrespective of the possessor of the said goods. So, kumbaga, in short, Yung when an exempt importer, kung exempt yung importer, tapos binenta niya, okay, since exempted ako, example ako yung importer, okay, exempted ako as a importer, as an importer, right? Pero pag binenta ko yung exempt na importation ko na yun to a non-exempt, meaning uh, taxable person, the non-exempt buyer, yung bumili sa akin, siya yung nagiging subject sa but on importation hindi ako okay na nag-import kundi yung bumili okay kung nan exempt siya kung or tawdan nabatable siya or taxable siya ng tax bill okay under that importation by but exempt persons nakalagay dito number one same then di ba we discussed this international shipping uh, or air transport operators in their import of fuel goods. So we have here, again, as we discussed, sabi ko nga, di ba, um, pag may illustration, kung medyo mahirap i-analyze, just go directly doon sa note. Kasi doon sa note yung explanation na mas clearer. Tapos, you just parang i-reconstruct -re mo siya, okay, when you study. I-reconstruct -re mo siya. Paano nag-come up sa ganong note yung uh, book natin, Okay. Note that the fuel, goods, or supplies will be consumed in the high seas or in foreign territories outside the country. The importation is not a domestic consumption, but a foreign consumption. Hence, it is exempt from VAT. So since now, ano ulit? Since will be consumed doon sa foreign territories, outside the Philippines. So gagamitin doon. So yung importation is not domestic. Hindi siya domestic, hindi siya within the Philippines, okay? But a foreign consumption. So, kumbaga yung point of view dito is yung domestic lang na consumption. Yung domestic, saan ba na-incur? Or saan ba nangyari yung pagbenta, okay? Pag-buy and sell. So, pag within foreign uh, consumption siya, so exempt siya sa but, okay? Number two. Sige, ano ba yung problem sa illustration 1? Diba? 
Malaysian ferries, international siya, shipping carrier. It imported to the Philippines, fuel and supplies to be used in its shipping operations. Okay? Although bin, nag-import siya sa Philippines, pero ginagamit niya din sa shipping operations niya, which is international. Okay? Hindi lang siya limited. Pag ganito yung problem, syempre parang for foreign consumption yung pagbili mo. Okay? The station number two, ito naman, Pinoy Airline, okay, imported jet fuel, okay, from Iraq at a total cost of 50 million pesos. 40% of importation, yan, nakastay talaga siya, na is declared domestic, yan. Kung nakastay talaga sa problem, na nagamitin yung 40% for domestic, yan, highlight natin. 40%, tapos 60 down nakalagay um, for international. So, in 60% na yun, will be consumed for air spaces. This is not domestic uh, consumption. Siyempre, kung international air transport siya, foreign consumption, exempt siya sa VAT. Yung itataksan dito, yung 40% na portion for domestic. Okay, domestic lang yung tinatax dito. Okay, number three, Lufta Airline, an international carrier, imported jet fuel, total cost of 40 million. Subsequently, binenta niya of this to a fuel air, a domestic air carrier. Si fuel air ba tax exempt siya or not? Di ba taxable siya? Okay, so since taxable, sabi natin, taxable, Lufta Airline is exempt on its uh, importation of the 10 million. Okay, where exempt siya. Kasi nga for international eh. Kaso binenta niya. Kung baga, supposedly, uh, siya lang mag-consume, di ba? So, kung siya lang, pati exempt yun. Pero binenta niya, di ba? To be uh, taxable. Taxable entity. So, nagiging fear is not exempt. Since fear is not exempt person, that jet fuel sell battable goods, Fuel air will be treated as, ano daw, importer. Magiging importer yung pinagbentahan niya. Okay, and will be subjected to VAT. Lufta is not required to pass the VAT and its sales of the fuel. So, hindi required si Lufta. Which is siya yung first na naging import, diba? Tapos, binenta niya dun kay fuel air na local. Okay? Ganun lang yung principle niya. It's worth sabi natin yung co-ops, diba? Direct farm. So, ano rin yan, under din yan dito sa classifications natin. A letter B, right? Importation of VAT exempt person. So, international carriers, um, cooperatives, okay? Direct farm inputs, ayan. Pezzel locators, which na discussed natin before. Okay? The rules on VAT and importation shall apply, ayan. Apply to technical importation by consumers in customs territory from persons located in special economic zone. Okay? So, kumbaga parang deemed outside okay, customs territory yung labas niya. Kasi nga, yun yung mga tax incentives ng government natin. Okay? Inibigyan sila ng exemption. Ayan, custom territory refers to the portion of the Philippines outside of designated, designated special economic zones. Ayan. Technically, yung importation, okay, ano yung sabihin ng technical importation? Refers to the purchase of non-eco zone, okay, non-eco zone of Philippine residents from, um, the Philippine Economic Registered Enterprise, okay? And then, ayan. So, similarly, sales to exons are subject to zero-rated VAT for VAT taxpayers because exons are considered foreign territories. Ayan. So, likewise, sales to exons are exempt from business tax for non-VAT taxpayer. Okay? Subject to VAT yung dito sa taas, di ba? Sabi natin. Refers to purchase of non-ecozone. Pag sinabing non-ecozone, of course, hindi siya doon na belong sa mga 
uh, Philippine ano natin, uh, like mga pensa, right? So, yeah. Technical importation. Ito lang yung ibig sabihin. Okay? Quasi importation. So, parang ganun din yung definition niya. Parang importation siya, pero there's no, kumbaga, there's no actual talaga na import. Like, ito, number one, personal household. Yan, same pa din. Yung nga lang, may condition tayo na kailang i-consider. Personal na household effects belongs to Philippine residents or non-residents intending to resettle in the Philippines. Kumbaga, nag-abroad siya, pinoy siya, tapos nag-decide siya mag-resettle dito sa Philippines. So, yung parang importation doon, um, from outside the Philippines, right? Tapos babalik siya dito sa Philippines. Parang nag-import din siya. Okay, the goods are exempt from cost and duties. Pero exempt din siya. The, ito yung purpose niya, to resettle in the Philippines. Ayan. Note that these goods are past consumptions, which have been previously na subject na siya sa consumption tax. So, parang there's gonna be a parang double taxation na. Okay? So, yun yung purpose niya. The importation or household effects or professional implements by non-residents intending to resettle in the Philippines. Ayan. Is a foreign consumption not subject to Philippine consumption tax. Okay. Kailangan lang i-note natin na yung mga purchase na to previously, they were already okay, subjected to consumption taxes. So the VAT on importation applies to importations which represent current consumptions of personal, household, or professional effects. It does not apply to this past consumption. Okay? Current consumptions. Okay? Household and professional effects. Example, si Mr. Seaman was employed abroad as an OFW. Okay? He went abroad taking with him personal effects. So, dinala niya yung boats niya, mga jewelry, gadgets. So, 300,000 yung worth nun. Yeah, and when his contract ended, gusto niya bumalik sa Philippines. Okay? Yung total value na is 280. Gusto niya mag-resettle. So, yung importation nun of personal effects will not be subject to VAT since these are past. So, yung key term dito kung past purchases na siya which had been subjected to consumption tax here in the Philippines. Okay? So, di ba binili sa Philippines? Nag-abroad siya. Dinala niya yung product. Ngayon, uuwi siya. Hindi niya siya pwedeng i-tax ulit kasi past ano na yun, mga consumption or yun, mga binili niya before. So, there's no tax. Okay. Ito naman, illustration number two, si Mr. Kukay-Ukay. Ayan. Sa so, mga mahilig sa so, Ukay-Ukay, shoutout. Shoutout kay Mrs. Kukay-Ukay. A Philippine resident purchased used, ayan, mga used clothing and shoes worth 300,000 from abroad to be sold in her Ukay-Ukay. Sales outlets in the Philippines. She reserved 50,000 of these for her personal use. So, paano, paano yung treatment pag pag ukay ukay? Okay, yung import natin. Kaling sa labas, papasok sa Philippines. The entire 300,000 purchase of, of goods from abroad is a domestic. Okay? Bakit? Kasi it's not a past, ang tawag natin, you know, yung past purchases here in the Philippines, right? Subject to but on importation. This rule applies without regards to the purpose. So, regardless of pur- what purpose is yung pagbili mo, okay? whether for business or personal use. Regardless of 50000 for personal use, uh, it's a domestic consumption. Okay? And then, again, yung professional na natin, instruments, condition for this exemption eto dapat yung uh, ABCD makomply before natin sabi uh, may exempt yung pag-import. Okay, number one, the goods belongs to, to persons who come to settle in the Philippines. Okay, hindi pwedeng parang nabakasyon lang tapos babalik ulit. Okay, the goods must accompany the person upon arrival within 90 days before or after his arrival. Hindi pwedeng pinagdala mo lang yung products tapos mag ka dito ng 90 days, tapos next year ka pa pala babalik, okay? Or uuwi sa Philippines. So, magiging subject siya sa uh, tax, okay? 
there must be evidence to show that the change of residence is bona fide. Okay, sabi nila bona fide. Sabi, sabi nila bona kide. Okay, coin, hashtag coin. There must be evidence to show na dapat talaga may change of residence siya. Okay? The importation is not a vehicle. Okay? Machinery. Hindi rin dapat other equipment used in manufacturing merchandise. Eh. So, kumbaga, hindi siya for parang technically in general parang for business na ano. So, any kind or yan, commercial. Yung quantity niya, parang pambahay lang. So, magiging exempted siya. If not, yung summer madami yan to, parang pang business to. So, magiging subject na siya sa uh, VAT. Okay? On importation. Alright. Example, so Mr. Marquez, a professional boxer, applied for an application to migrate in the Philippines and was granted by the Philippine government. He brought his boxing gears and household effects, including his personal car, to the Philippines. Okay. Sabi sa taas kanina, may exemption tayo. V- vehicle, automatic, taxable yan. Okay? Or machinery. Okay, regardless kung personal man yan. Okay, personal car man or um, commercial, no, pang negosyo or not. Subject siya sa VAT. Ayan. Ito lang ako, prof- professional uh, instruments. Siyempre, boxer ka, di ba? Tapos may mga equipment ka na ano mo lang, pang personal mo lang. So, hindi naman yung value niya na 100,000 or more, di ba? I mean, hindi naman siya kalakihan kasi personal um, gamit mo lang. So, yan yung concept niya. Exempted din sa VAT. Siyempre, yung mga malalaki like vehicle, machine, uh, kumbaga thousands or millions mga, di ba? Okay. Illustration number two. Ayan. While in Dubai, si Swaka bought a, a car and numerous pieces of jewelry from her salary as OFW. She intended to sell the jewelry to her friends and townsfolk in the Philippines. So, ibebenta niya. So, dun pa lang para may idea ka na na ay pang benta pala to. So, parang assumption mo, parang may taxable na ganyan, right? So, when her contract ended, so, moving siya sa Philippines. So, importation ng car, of course, automatic yun. Okay, regardless ng purpose niya. Vehicle siya eh, so taxable agad. Since it is not a, uh, a personal effect. The important pieces of jewelry is in commercial quantity. Ayan. Kasi yung quantity niya, di ba? Sobrang dami na. Makes them clearly not personal. Hence, matabal din siya. Okay? So, per, yung commercial quantity, ayan. Kailangan rin natin i- i-analyze. No? Importation, which are exempt under special laws. Okay, di ba nang numerate natin yung naalala mo? Five or six items yun. No? No, yung era, yung sa rice natin, I think yung um, peza, di ba? Yung mga under special laws yan. Okay. As we move further, no? Sobrang bilis, no? Yung discussion natin kasi it's a very short plan. Kasi parang review na lang din siya ng previous na natin chapters, okay? So, are you still with me, guys? Nandiyan pa kayo? Makain? Okay, okay lang. Yeah. Huwag lang kayo mag-ML while I'm lecturing here, no? <laughs> Sino may ilig sa ML dyan? Pa-comment ka sa comment section, yeah, sa live feed natin. Sino may ilig sa um, ML, mobile legend? Sino na add mas gustong may load pa sa Mobile Legends kesa sa klase. <laughs> okay lang yun guys, at least ma-refresh kayo, di ba? Hindi naman tayo, tayo ano, di ba? Bawal ang judgmental, sabi ng GMA. Okay? The VAT on importation. Okay? Other importation of goods is subject to VAT regardless of whether the importer is engaged or not engaged in trade or business. Ayan, importer is a VAT or non-VAT. Ito yung uh, other than importation ng goods. Yeah, highlight natin. Ayan. As a consumption tax, 
the VAT on importation applies without regard. Without regard, di ba? No, this has nothing in it. Regardless of the purpose niya, and whether or not the sellers or buyers are engaged in business. So, may tinatawag tayo na presumption. Kapag may advance ka na na assumption no? on vatability. Okay. Importation is generally, yeah, subject na agad yan, in general. Pero may mga exemption lang na maliliit. Diba? Okay. Generally, subject to VAT unless it can be proven as exempt. So, all importation, regardless kung anong item siya, subject siya sa VAT. Exempt. May nakalagay dun. Kung um, mga co-ops, diba? international area, yun yung mga exemption. Okay. The burden of proof in establishing VAT exemption rests upon the importer. So, yung importer yung obliged to present anong proof mo na uh, dapat ano ka, exempted. Okay? Tax basis of VAT on importation. Very quick lang. The VAT on importation is completed, of course, 12% of the landed cost. Okay? Highlight nyo guys ha, sa notes nyo, landed cost siya. Yeah, ano yung ibig sabihin ng landed cost, di ba? Ayan. Ito yan. Kailangan mo, ano, sa mga problem, landed cost yan, kailangan mo i-add. Okay, example, total bank charge, to 1,000. Total brokerage. So, kasama din yan. So, to um, explain further, ano, yung landed cost daw, all cost, ayan. So, all costs pala of importation, lahat ng costs incurred prior to the withdrawal of goods from the warehouse. Meaning, lahat ng costs na na-incur na nag-import hanggang sa time na, kumbaga, uh, alisin mo na yung withdrawal of goods from doon sa warehouse ng Bureau of Customs. Ayan. Except unofficial and illegal payments. Pero yung pala mga illegal payments na sa mga pag-import. Okay? So, hindi na yun included mga unofficial. Okay? Walang resibo or under the table. No? So, hindi na yun kasama dito sa competition na. Ayan. Duty, dutyable value, also called as transaction value, refers to the total value used by the Bureau of Customs in determining duties such as cost of, cost of the goods, freight, insurance, other charges, and cost to bring goods here in. Ayan. So, ito yung formula natin. Um, Dutyable value times exchange rate times uh, rate of duty. So, dito tayo mag... Um, I think mag-focus tayo dito sa computation natin. Okay? The rest are theories lang naman. Dali lang yung theories. Okay. Balik tayo. Ano formula? Dutyable value times exchange rate times uh, rate of duty. So basic, of course, a problem. May mga given problem, di ba? And importation. And meron tayo. Ano yung hinahanap dyan? Actually, yung VAT on importation. Highlight lang natin. Ayan. The VAT on importation, ito yung hinahanap, 282. So, paano nag-come up sa 282? Okay? Peso value, other cost incurred to bring. Ayan. Hindi ito kasama yung 85 kasi part ng withdrawal yun. Pag palabas mga item, sabi sa law natin, okay, sa regulation, dapat from Import, importation going to the sign, sa warehouse. Okay, prior to withdrawal, pag-alis ng item doon. So, ito lang, 20 or 2 million plus 70,000. Ano pa yung kasama? 10% customs duties. Ano yung customs duties? Okay? Ano yung customs duties? Yan yung sabi, 10% ang total dito. A nine curve. So, 2,070 times 10%. Ito siya. Costo. Hi highlight ko lang. Ayan. Okay? 
customs duties is have eighty thousand down. Okay, so I'm going to eighty thousand. So, other official costs paid before withdrawal of goods. So seventy thousand. Plus yung nakalagay si ito, mayroong fixer na yan, 5,000. So sabi sa ano natin, hindi pwede yung unofficial and kumbaga mga illegal na mga expenses. So tipanggalin mo yung 5 dito sa 80, 85. So 80 na lang marirecord natin dito. Okay? So highlight ko lang. Ayan. So, kumbaga, i-add mo tong 2017, dalawa sa taas, no? plus yung 80, instead of 85, 80 yung re-record. 207, saan ang galing? 10%. Percentage na nakalagay. So, computer mo. Ito. Ayan. So, dyan tayo nagbibase ng custom duties. How about yung 80,000? Eh, di naman part ng ano yun. Ng, kumbaga, ng service ng customs. Okay? Yun lang. Ito lang tayo. Sa dalawa. So, 80. Total landed cost. Yun yung total landed cost. Pag land. Kumbaga, landed cost. Yung pag land doon sa warehouse. Okay? Multiply by 12%. So, yun lang. How about yung comprehensive? Okay? Comprehensive naman. Ang dali lang. <clears throat> Ayan. Ito tayo dito na lang. Yung na-add lang dito, yung unit dito, yung may translation. Tatanslate mo from dollar to peso. Yan lang yung nabago dito. Right? So, ito yung given sa problem. So, hanapin mo magkano yung bat na mabayaran. Okay, sige. Compare natin. Dutyable value and custom cities. Kasi nakalagay dito, percentage, right? Sana ba? Dutyable, purchase price magkano? That's $50,000. Insurance in transit and given bill. Okay, add me, ano na yan, yun yung total invoice price, $51,300. Multiply ng, ng $45,000, ayan, nakalagay $45 pesos in $1. Yan lang siya. So, multiply mo. Ito yung value in peso. Okay? Tawag dyan, dutyable value. Yan. So, multiply mo ng rate of duty. Magkano daw yung taripa? Yan. Nakalagay din siya eh. Or tariff rate. Or rate of duty. Kumbaga, yan. customs duty. Yan. Times 30%. Ito yung customs duty niya. Ngayon, Pag sinabing landed cost, magkano yung total landed cost? Okay? Ina-add natin yung customs duty dito sa dutyable in peso. Okay? 2308 times baba, 692. Ano pa? Yung kasama dyan. Yung binayaran niya na excise, tax, part pa rin siya. Kasi from importation going to that landed cost, diba? part pa rin siya na binayaran. Okay? Part siya ng cost. Yung other charges, Alas, so, ang galing pa yung 105815. Sige, so, then. 105, ayan. Nakalagay pa din siya. Okay? Arastrig, um, bank charge, wala dito yung mga uh, illegal transaction. So, lahat kasama siya. Okay? I think, yun lang yung computation. Super, ano lang siya, basic. Okay? Sabi ng iba dyan, mga nakatap sa midsummer natin, Dali-dali naman magbigay ng exam ng set. No? Lapit ko na lang ma-perfect. Isa na lang sana, 100 points. Hindi <laughs> ko na kailangan ng plus points. Okay? Import of services. Of course, yung tawag doon, um, di ba, input ba? Pag, um, di ba, sa non-residents, tawag doon, final rebounding. Pag sa residents, tawag doon. Of course, regular yun siya. VAT uh, on importation, which is 12%. Okay. Ito, theory na, no? Purchase of services from non-residents. Maybe VAT exam. Subject is specific. Percentage tax. Subject din sa final loading tax. Ayan. Import of services. Ganun din. Subject generally 
subject sa sa final rebounding rate except when it is exempted or is imposed with a percentage tax again nature of final rebounding rate tandaan lang natin ito ayan However, our current tax laws views the final as a business tax. Parang business tax pa rin siya. In final, um, we don't link that. Okay, the VAT is deemed imposed upon non-resident. I like that. Non-resident service providers. For this purpose, the law cons conclusively presumes that the non-resident sellers are engaged in business. Ina-assume siya na bakit nandito yung non-resident na to? Diba? Na seller. Of course, engaged siya in business. Eh. So, yan yung tawag dyan. Final rebounding back. Okay? Since non-residents cannot be obligated to file tax return, okay? hindi naman sila obligated eh. Example, mga foreigner, no? mga business, like general manager, manager siya ng hotel. So, foreigner siya, tapos dito siya sa Philippines nagre-render siya ng service. Hindi naman sila required yan, di ba? Due to territorial, ayan. Obligated. Hindi naman sila obligated to file tax returns. Eh. Kasi doon naman sila nagre-report talaga sa, sa country nila. Okay? Ngayon, yung resident buyer, okay? Siya yung nag-buy ng service ng foreigner. Siya yung required to do the code ng VAT. Yung nag-purchase ng service ng foreigner. Okay? The VAT is deemed passed on. So, yung term dito is deemed passed on. Pinapasa mo lang. Okay? Kung baga parang pinasa ng obligation ng non-resident rin doon sa nag-purchase. So, siya yung mag -redome. Okay? Yun. As a withholding tax, the obligation to withhold the VAT, again, in unit lang, technically, insists only if the service is rendered. Okay. Guys, highlight out within the Philippines. Within the Philippines in service. The payer purchaser of the service is an individual engaged in business or a corporation. Ito dapat yung kala nag exist Okay? Para mag ka. Nang bad. There's no obligation to withhold bad if the payer is not a business. So, hindi siya required. Hindi naman siya business. Okay? Diba? Hindi, hindi ka naman itatax mo. Hindi ka naman i- kumbaga parang i-business tax. Okay? Where the service is rendered and not the place where the output of service will be automated. Hence, the service must be rendered within within to be subjected to withholding tax. Okay? Ayan. So, may illustration lang tayo and this is my last Slide. Okay. So, get ready guys. Eagle Company sought the help of Mr. Putin. Okay. A repairman uh, doing business in Australia to fix its malfunctioning machinery in the Philippines. Okay. Nag-hire siya. Yung contract price nun is 1 million pesos. Okay. Inquiry. What if Putin is not engaged in business in Australia? The contract price is still subject to final withholding, but still, subject pa rin siya, regardless. Because Mr. Putin is conclusively presumed, so kumbaga, ma-assume mo talaga na engaged siya in business. Diba? Nag-assume lang yung problem na what if hindi nga siya engaged. Tapos yung answer doon, engaged talaga siya. So, diba? But, i-hire mo tong uh, non-resident na yan. Diba, of course, yung expertise niya, subject talaga siya sa uh, VAT. Final with only VAT. Okay? What if, I mean, yung nag-purchase, okay? Yung nag-purchase ng uh, service, yung subject. What if Eagle Company is a non-profit institution? Same pa din. Ayan. Even non-profit Corporations are required to withhold. Sila mag-withhold ng bayad sa um, non-resident. Okay? What if either company is an echo zone? Okay? Echo zone locator. Ayan. Dito na papasok yung ano natin, exemption. Okay? Contract price will not be subjected to final withhold because echo zones 
locators or sub or outside the country. Example, mga non-residents. By legal fiction. Okay? Kung ito ha, ah, number one. Number two, non-profit siya. Example, not engage. Okay? So, Echo zone lang kung walang babayaran. And I am so happy because I'm done discussing this module line. I will do some few edits, no jump cuts. So pardon me if I have so many dumbing moments and I'm talking to a camera. Okay. So hopefully you could talk to me like I'm talking to you there in our live chat, comment section. Please, please do. If you have a question, yeah. Hopefully I could have a baga, separate time, no, separate session. How I wish, no? Though, damo ko. Damo lang ko tanda time. <laughs> no, answer kita sa mga self-test, no? Exercises at the end of the book na ito. But, at the end, mag-rush nyo lang, mag nyo lang ang basic principle about this mode sa line. Um, ready na mo for your uh, pre-board, no? Examination, qualifying sa, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> And I know mas surpassing nila. Nakayin nyo ba nang in summer, di ba? How much more ang... Uy, after two weeks, guys, final exam na naman. But just take one day at a time, okay? Just live one day at a time. Take time to breathe. Take time to find some plants, no? Like this. <laughs> so, plantito, plantita. Shout out, no? Kung may time ka to find a new hobby, find a new... Baga, Ma refresh lang to break the cycle, no? To break the boredom sa mga life, okay? It's 12:18 a.m. okay, the morning. So hopefully, <clears throat> um, hopefully I shared uh, something, no? Sa ating module na uh, worthy man, uh, sa inyo mga pagtake sa exam, um, chicken na lang. Chicken na lang sa inyo. So, hapos lang ah. Hapos lang ang pinakahapos promise ang module 9. And there are lots of module pa yung discuss natin. But it's a, kumbaga, series of short, okay? short modular discussion lang. Because uh, ang iban na ba yung theory, ang iban um, daw katamaan mo lang ka self-explanatory, di ba? Um, I think that's it. So, we're done with our module 9. While you added tax on importation. Okay? So, guys, remember at the end of the day, God is asking you, is it si Jesus is sulod sa mga life? If wala pa, well, um, I could assist you, no? Um, in a very, very simple prayer lang. I know this prayer will not uh, change anything unless God will. Of course, intervene in your life. Okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, just follow me with my prayer. Okay? Heavenly Father, thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on that cross for my sins. Lord, I know I am a sinner and I am not worthy to be called your child. But God, Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you that you died on that cross for our sins. Lord, I receive that gift. I receive Jesus Christ in my life. Starting today, I am a new person. Starting today, I am a new creation. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for um, cleansing our sins. Lord, this is not about religion, but this is about having this intimate relationship with you. Holy Spirit, guide us. In the mightiest name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Guys, if you pray that prayer, simple prayer lang, just to remind us, I know we're all Christians, but sometimes um, we forget no, those mga important things in our lives. And even sometimes mga mga Bible kita, events happen in cell phones, right? Tampo the reminders, but you tend to forget, no? So, 
for country we have this Bible. Na it's a reminder also to me na hindi lang uh, ubra, hindi lang puro um, cell phone, hindi lang puro social media. Take time to have this uh, spiritual food kung ginabusog natin pili natin yun. Chan, no? Sa mga sushi, shout out pili sa sushi niya na ni Kyle, okay? More blessings pa. Uh, the Lord will pour out sa inyong uh, life, no? Not only kay Kyle, of course, ako uh, yung mga students sa business tax. And as much as I want to meet you guys, okay? Um, Kamala na, prayer lang gina kang ma-share sa inyo. And beyond this um, subject natin, I am, I am so thankful for this simple opportunity na yung allow sa akin to be part of your journey. I know it's not easy. I know even sa kung yung past na experience, mabudlay siya. Okay? There's no easy way out. There's no shortcut. Unless you you decided that I will keep on pressing on. You know my inspiration in my life? Number one, ang parents ko. Okay? My father. So, my father just died last year and Sometimes, some of them don't start time, most of the time, until now. Maybe um, ko often, okay, I get too emotional. Okay, sila ako nga, number one inspiration in my life. Parents ko, nanay ko, tatay ko, mga no, utod ko, of course. And especially now, may um, married ako since 2015. Of course, number one fan ko, ayan, shout out to my wife, no? Ano man ang mga reasons. So, you find your deepest uh, why you find your deepest hindi lang motivation hindi, you find nga ah, okay sometimes you're not motivate, motivated but because of discipline okay nag decide ka sa self nung matoon ka everyday nag decide ka nga maging CPA ka nag decide ka nga maging uh, accountant ka one day okay gusto mong magka business gusto mong mag teach uh, CPU gusto mong accounting firm So, my business, whatever you want, guys, go back. Go back to your deepest life. Na anong accounting ka. Siguro, siguro, there's a lot of options, no? Same mo. Na hindi mo man first choice ang accountancy. But you know, I believe you, yeah, na the Lord has the best plan for our lives. No, hindi man natin explain niya yeah, sometimes yung ginakuha sa ginawa ng ating loved ones as early sa mga early ages nila and sometimes until now hindi ko ma-grasp ang mind sa ginawa and ang bagay sa Bible His thoughts ang thoughts ng ginawa is higher than our thoughts okay His plan okay mas taas kaysa sa plan natin okay kaysa sa plan sa tao and at the end of the day um, I just want to remind you that Uh, God loves you. God cares for you. God knows anong struggle natin sa itong uh, online learning. Right? And He's not blind. No? Hindi siya bulag, hindi siya makita. Hindi siya bungol. Hindi siya mabatihan ng mga prayer every night. So, I know ibang bansa nyo nag-pray uh, so much. And I've been saying nyo, siguro, it's sometimes hard to study like this mga recorded video but you know guys kung nakaya nyo man no um, two years sa CPU so you're you're jumping na sa next na uh, level I know um magiging kumbaga magiging edge na nyo kung may example ma-apply apply kang sobra for example atay kang sa board exam diba kumbaga ang mga motivation na kaya ko ganit ang uh, COVID na season, why not? Um, I know na kaya na ito. Hindi lang sa atong na own strength. Kaya na ito because we believe in God na uh, siya ga interview sa atong na life. Okay guys? I think that's it. Amo lang na ma-share ko. So since lipot lang natin yung module 9, so pili a short reminder, short encouragement, para encouragement sa atong tanan. Okay? Kung hindi mo man ka ng land, ang nga ka mga words of encouragement, Siguro may mga kilala ko na kinanglansang encouragement. You can share it, right? 
you can kumbaga you can have that ano siguro mga listening ears na kinanglan nila sa friend kinanglan nila sa masandalan no mabaga kinanglan may tap man lang kinanglan sa okay i just want to send you some virtual tap at your back now and good job guys and i may not uh, kumbaga hindi ko man tama makilala okay i still love you guys and that's that's one of our calling here na natuga ka sa kalibutan still love your neighbor okay as you love your self okay guys i think that's it thank you so much for your patience thank you so much for learning me together with me i am so learning about this even this online setup natin okay so guys thank you so much and good night and yeah see you tomorrow see you to our another taxation uh, session okay bye bye